Hi Apartment Therapy, I'm Rosie and welcome to my 390 square foot apartment in Notting Hill. I would describe my style as very colourful and playful. Um, I like to sort of fill my space with objects and art and items that are kind of evoke a real sense of positivity and creativity. It's definitely very antique and vintage driven. I have kind of this cabinet of curiosities moment going on in the corner. And there's something about vintage packaging. It's not like packaging we get now. It's like designed and artistic. And I just love the way they look. This is my first apartment away from home and also living by myself, having a space that's completely mine and I can do exactly what I want to it in a in a decor sense but also as a human living in the space you know breaking down my guard completely and not having to perform for anyone when I come home and really being able to just be exactly how I'm feeling in the space is really special I can be quite wacky so you know I've got my unicycle and my mannequin legs <laughs> that I found on the street and they definitely reflect the quirkier side of my nature. So my favorite element of my space is probably my gallery wall. It's filled with loads of different eclectic pieces and items that aren't necessarily art, like magazine cuttings or little leaflets I've received, but I just thought they were interesting. I'm quite a nostalgic and sentimental person. I have to try quite hard not to just keep everything. So my proudest DIY is definitely my kitchen space. When I saw this apartment, it was very cream and neutral and I really wanted to inject that little nook with its own personality. I unscrewed all of the kitchen cabinets above my countertops to make space for a display. I also used blue vinyl tile stickers to create a checkerboard effect of my tile backsplash. I unscrewed all of the handles from all of the drawers and replaced them with some red handles that were pretty cheap and it gives it kind of like a 50s diner vibe and kind of gives it lots of personality in a way that was done pretty cheaply. The mezzanine space is also really cool to me. It kind of evokes feelings of when I was young and used to love climbing trees and being super adventurous. Once you climb up the wooden ladder, you're kind of met with this cozy little nook of blankets and cushions and fairy lights and I just wanted it to feel really inviting. This is my bedroom. I like to keep my bedding pretty simple and clean and, and fresh feeling. It's a pretty small floor space but the tall ceilings make it feel quite spacious. I've had to think about utilising storage closer to the ground that is accessible and easy to get to for me. I have this kind of vintage cabinet and in that cabinet there's actually a lot of space so I've like my shoes in there, my art supplies, my printer. I decided to create an Etsy store actually during the first lockdown. I lost my job so that was a great way to have a focus. It came out of a real love I think with the antiques as well of just finding the history of things really interesting. I kind of channeled my love of art into a more specific design style. Then I started creating prints of these illustrations and sort of branded it the history of and yeah it's done really well since I started I think home is definitely a space where you feel like you can come into and completely feel at ease and feel surrounded by objects and pieces that bring you comfort but also like lift you up and bring you joy. I'm a proud queer woman <laughs> and my home is full of like queer art and posters and rainbows and all these like reminders to back myself and be proud and be happy with who I am. <laughs>